Welcome back. Today I have a new box for the channel. Um, it's one that I've looked at quite a bit in the past, but we always seem to age out of it. It's Pup Box. And this is a box that has one of those pricing schedules where if you sign up for like one box a month and no long-term commitment, it's really expensive and then it gets more, less expensive as you sign up for longer commitments. So I'll put something right here to tell you how much the box is. Um, but since we got a puppy and since we decided to keep the puppy, I know a couple months ago I posted, uh, I had bacon, and he wasn't called bacon then, um, in my video he was super small, he was just a tiny little baby, he's still a baby but now he's 25 pounds. Um, and I uh, have been looking at Petco's Pup Box. I think Petco's the one who owns this um, because it said Petco on the delivery. Um, this box grows with you so you can start it as young as eight weeks. Um, and every month it sends you like relevant things. You can choose uh, like allergies. So we put beef on it because we do have one dog that is definitely allergic to beef. We don't know if the puppy is, but we just don't allow beef treats, chews, and that sort of thing in the house. And um, I can't remember if I put any other allergies on it, but this box is, this is the four month box. And he is four and a half months as I'm filming this. So let's see what's in Pup Box's four month slash May box. So the first thing I see is like a training and development card um, for a four month old dog. So it's like how to train them certain things. Um, and Bacon is teething. He, I have one of his teeth. Um, the rest of them I think he's eaten. <laughs> um, but it's saying to um, start teaching commands and start socializing, which he just got his last round of shots last week as I'm filming this. So he can finally start socializing. And then um, it has some like food things as well and just like some general info as if you were a brand new pup mom or dad um you could have like it has like poison controls number and um things that are toxic to dogs so if you are new to a dog you have like emergency information and just general good information to have which is really a, like a really good thing to include in this box because some people are getting this box with their very first dog um so this is all super handy and um yeah I really like this card I'm definitely going to keep it it's not um my first dog, he's not my first dog by any stretch of the imagination, but it has been a good few years since we had a puppy, and so it's a good reminder. Next up is Fred the Flamingo. This is for extra small and small pups, um, but it's not like super small. I think this is a decent size. Um, it says it's got the plush, squeaky body, and ballistic legs, which we definitely need. Um, and it's good for a game of tug or fetch. Um, it's just really cute. Um, I'm not going to squeak it because that would kill your ears. Um, but these uh, legs feel pretty tough. And we shall see how long this toy lasts. Probably not very long because even though Bacon isn't super destructive on toys, uh, Murphy is. Because... That's just how his personality laid out. Next up are some sweet potato chew dog treats. Um, it looks like the only ingredient in here is sweet potatoes and it looks like they just sliced them and dehydrated them. And it has a feeding guideline on here which is perfect because I never know how much of these like human food things to feed animals, dogs. Um, and I always have to like Google search how much watermelon can a dog have. That's a very popular search because I always forget. 
So, um, it looks like they're good through October. These will definitely be destroyed by then. And it looks like Bacon and Trumpet can have up to two a day and Murphy can have up to three a day. So these will definitely be destroyed uh, probably within like a week. Next up are Quack Snacks uh, made with real duck. And these are good through the end of September. So again, they're lasting three and a half, four months, um, which is generally how long treats last expiration was and um they never last that long actually in the house and these uh feel like just like long strips um so i'll probably break these into pieces to give to the dogs and it looks like duck is the first ingredient um and it doesn't have anything in here that would concern me it doesn't have any murray's allergies in it so it looks like they're following that and I love getting more treats because we always seem to run out. Next up is a small squeak and light bowl. And we actually had, oh, there it goes. Um, it, uh, we've actually had a couple of these in the past, not ones that light up necessarily, um, but the squeaky, spiky balls we had and Murphy seems to really like these to like chase around so I'm wondering how Bacon's going to fare with these and if I get any like cute videos of the dogs playing with these toys I will definitely include clips I just don't know my house is a mess so I'm sorry oh we have three dogs it's just my life and last up is the Beko Beko I don't know how to pronounce this super strong natural rubber dog bone And it has a place to put a treat on the inside um, to like get your dog to have interactive play and it feels pretty tough um, we shall see how long this is uh, holds up because bacon has those super sharp puppy teeth um, it says this is sustainable and it's extra tough we shall see about that and it says the card is even printed on recycled paper, which is nice. It, this is size medium. So it's interesting that they send some toys in an extra small, small size, and some in the medium size. Um, I put that he, they ask what size the dog is going to be when they become fully grown, and we have no clue. Um, he is a foster. He is a mixed bag. Um, but I'm guessing 50 pounds is what the vet said. So that's what I put on the uh sign up so but this is a pretty good size and bacon will absolutely love this and then last up there's just like a little info thing that specifically says no beef um so they specifically chose treats that don't have beef in them which is nice that they pay attention um it says that his birthday on it and says thanks for being a pup scrapper so this is super cute it's super nice that they pay attention to the allergy um, I know some boxes sometimes don't um, so it's really nice that they paid attention to that even though we don't know for sure that he has that allergy just the household has that allergy um, but this is a really good first box for me it has relevant toys but still things that we can allow the other dogs to play with and I really like this box so I hope you'll give this video a like subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one bye